as you can see, here in the UK, we've got snow. And given that 2020 has been the year of the conspiracy theorists, I thought I'd come up with my own. I believe the main purpose of conspiracy theories is that they allow paranoid people who didn't do very well at school to think that they're intelligent, often by cherry picking their information and ignoring anything that runs contrary to it. So let's see how easy it is, because it's been snowing. So there are restrictions on travel, there are fewer cars on the road, and those that are moving are doing so much slower than usual. The elderly and the vulnerable are having to stay inside. And even those of us who are out and about are having to move much more slowly. And the weather forecasters are warning us not to go out because we could be injured. And most conspiracy theories will involve the idea that there's some sort of cover-up. But look, everything's been covered up. So in the mind of the conspiracy theorist, either NASA, the government or the Illuminati now control the weather, or it's all made up and snow doesn't exist. And of course, that's ridiculous. But staying indoors, particularly if someone is elderly or vulnerable, limiting our travel down to what is absolutely necessary and keeping ourselves as safe as possible are all the exact same restrictions which were imposed in the coronavirus lockdown. Yet the idiotic ideas I've used to suggest that snow isn't real is exactly the same thinking as the COVID deniers used to suggest that coronavirus isn't real. However, I know I'm talking shit. The truth seekers believe the crap that comes out of their mouth. As ever, thanks for watching.